सो हेलो यू वन वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड मोस्ट सेलेक्टिव यूनिवर्सिटी स्टैनफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी मेरे हिसाब से दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल स्कूल और कॉलेज आई एवर बिन टू एज वेल एंड टूडे इज चैलेंज इज गोइंग टू बी अकॉर्डिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आई आई टी और एन एम आई टी कंप्यूटर साइंस एग्जाम प्लान ये है कि हम यहाँ के यहाँ से लोगों को IIT और MIT के पेपर सॉल्व करवाएंगे और इन एडिशन हरून ने एक आइडिया प्रपोज किया कि हम उनसे पूछते हैं तुम एक स्टार्टअप पिच करो और हम तुम्हें हंड्रेड डॉलर्स देंगे कि यहाँ के स्टूडेंट्स मोस्ट पॉपुलर वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट के पास जाते हैं मिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स के लिए वो अपना स्टार्टअप हंड्रेड डॉलर्स के लिए हम जैसे उसको क्यों देंगे बिल्कुल सही So hi, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Saro. Saro. Yeah. I'm a fourth year PhD student at Stanford. Wow, we're gonna be crushed. But uh, where are you from, by the way? I'm from Chicago. My name is Sahil, and uh, I'm a sophomore here at Stanford, studying nice. CS and math. And where are you from? And uh, I'm originally from Austin, Texas. So yeah. Awesome. You had to take both majors. Like math is your minor, or which one is your major? Uh, I'm just doing it. Okay, so like that's like kind of what I'm just undecided about. I'm interested in both, and we'll see like what route I end up taking. So, oh, yeah. so you don't have to declare your major till second year. We don't have to declare it until like our third year. So, wow. So yeah, we, there's like a lot of flexibility. Christy, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm currently a master's student in the electrical engineering department. Hi Troy. I'm from Irvine, California. Hi, uh, my name is Yoshib. Uh -huh. uh, I did my undergrad here at Stanford in math and physics, and I'm right now working on a. Masters in CS, but theory, not too much coding. Brilliant. Yeah. And where are you from, by the way? Oh, uh, I'm from Denver, Colorado. Hi, I'm Sanjay. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Texas. And what's your major, and which you are, which year are you uh, in? I'm a sophomore, and my major is computer science. So it'll be kind of awkward if I fail this. No, no, no. It's gonna be easy. Uh, so do you think like you do a lot of lead code in second year or no? Um, I mean, like, yeah, I, I just kind of started for like recruiting for this year, so like I have some lead code experience. But curious to see how. How it translates now. So we have five-minute questions from two exams. One is from IIT and one is from MIT. Which one do you think is difficult? I imagine both are difficult. Yeah, but if you have to choose, which one would you choose? IIT is from India and MIT, you know, is from Massachusetts. Um, both are simple coding questions. IIT. IIT. Okay, go ahead. All right. So basically, the question for you is that given two strings as binary. Um, You need to add them up in binary and return the resultant string. Uh, does that make sense? So the first question we have is: you have to add two binary numbers in string and return in string as well. The trick part is you have to handle carry just like we do normal addition. Are the strings of the same length? Uh, it could be, they could be variable. It could be different. Okay. Yeah. Then what I might do is I would want to loop backwards to the strings. Right. Um, Just pre-process the strings to gotcha. have the same length and put zeros at the beginning. Okay, sounds good. All right, you want to just go ahead and write pseudo code for it, or just sure. like whatever choice of language. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, feel free. And then maybe I'll uh, at the beginning I'll also store like a carry, right? And initialize that to be zero. Gotcha. Yep. Spot on. Yeah, got it. Really? Yeah, exactly. Good stuff. Uh, right on time. Yeah, good stuff. So what's the complexity? O of m. Yeah. O of the max of m n. Yes. So what's the space complexity? The When space. we usually talk about space complexity, uh, you're storing. I mean, you're storing the result in additional string. Right. But we don't really count that. Okay. Right? So then just the carry. Yeah. Value. Which is just o of one. O big o of one. Yep. Brilliant. Good stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Alrighty, good stuff. Yeah. We already have our first winner. Yes. Good Congratulations. Uh, Stanford is known for startups. Do you have any startup story as well? I do not. Oh, because like I've I've seen that every other student is working on, right? Is there a hype? There is definitely a hype. Awesome. And Y Combinator is an accelerator program where oh, the maximum students from Stanford se jaate hain for startups. One is from IIT, one is from MIT. Which one would you choose? From their data structures class. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a simple one-on-one data structures class. Oh um, I don't know. Uh, let's go. I, India or US? Which question yeah. do you think is easier? I think both of them are probably hard, but uh, let's go uh, India. India. Okay, let's do it. We're given, let's say a string with the numbers. So let's say it's one o one, first string, and you're gonna add it, and then the other string is one one zero. Hard code. Worry about syntax. Sure. Just do pseudo code, and don't worry. Those stretch out. Make convert both these to like in. 
uh, an integer. Uh-huh. Right? You right, like, right. You can like use kind of use an and or like use a boolean operator between them. Okay, let me give you a hint, a very preliminary hint. Okay. Let's say there weren't strings, right? How would you add it as a human? Uh, you, so you have to keep so obviously a carry and then right. the place. Got it. Yeah, yes, so. that's what you need. So yeah, how would you translate that into code? Yeah, so. Uh, a few moments later. Okay, so basically he got the right approach, had the right answer. The only sort of backfall was that uh, the code was not the most efficient one. Even in terms of Big O, it was efficient, but not the cleanest, right? So sure. we believe there was a better way to do it. Uh, so <laughs> that's why we wouldn't really have an, we wouldn't count it as an acceptable answer. If you do IIT, you don't get a whole number. I see. Okay. So, so, okay. AKA, we're going to do it some sort of half discount and give him $50. But okay. anywho, good, good stuff. Good, yeah, stuff. good so, try. So, So we have two questions, one from MIT, from yeah. their data structures class, and other from IIT, from their data structures class as well. Which one do you think is difficult? Uh, IIT, okay, I'll take that one. It's a very popular question, um, and should be pretty straightforward to do the optimal, the brute force way. Okay. However, we're looking for the most optimal one, you know, you gotta be the highest standard, uh -huh. right? I see. So the second challenge is also straightforward. You just have to tell true or false if a number given is a power of two. For example, 4 is 2 to the power 2, 8 is 2 to the power 3, so they are power of 2 numbers. Your task is to return true if that number is a power of 2. If it's not a power of 2, you return false. So I guess there's like a very cheap brute force way I think is what you could do, which is like you could just uh, like have your integer n right. and like while say you haven't surpassed it, start iterating powers of 2 mm -hmm. and if you hit the number, then you return true. Yeah. Um, and if you like exceed that number, then you return false because that means you, you know, missed it. Right. Yeah. Um, the only issue is right if like alpha is like mm -hmm. a hundred. Right. This algorithm has this. I mean, the algorithm basically has a runtime of log base two of n. Right. That would, if if that if right that yeah 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 and that would be. So However. Just, yeah. However, we have even a more efficient solution, than which is constant time and constant space. Const, okay, const, yeah. all right, so that's the benchmark, constant time and- That's con the benchmark that, yeah. that you gotta get to get full credit at so, IIT Data Structures Algorithm 101. I see, okay, <laughs> yeah. so so dividing, right? So take taking your number and dividing by two, right. and then keeping this, like mm -hmm. if you just do like a pointer and then dividing by two, so on, that'll yeah. be constant space. Yes. Say it was like 15, right, mm -hmm. and that's zero, one that's eight uh it's one one, one one yeah one one all three yeah, yeah right thank you um i actually do can we i, I do want one more minute so okay yeah. here's the thing right one final hint yes you want to end it with something that flips the bits right and then check whether that and is equal to zero the solution is a bit tricky you have to take that number and do an and operation with the number minus one and if the result is zero, then it is true. This is the one-liner solution. That is yeah. an incredibly simple solution. Yeah, but I mean, you <laughs> yeah. made a really good try. So yeah. like, and had a lot of approaches and thought it through. So this actually shows that like, he's not cramming and not imprinting those solutions in head. So we're gonna go ahead and give you $50 for like this generous attempt. Many, many congratulations Thank for you. having an amazing attempt. Yeah. It proves that you're not cramming the question. Mm -hmm. And by the way, like I have heard Stanford has amazing startup culture. They don't run behind Fang and Mang companies. Are you aiming for startup or? Um, not currently, although it is on my radar. Um, awesome. I do have a friend of mine who is, uh, I don't know the exact details, but he's gonna be working for a startup and he has talked about it a lot. It seems interesting. Definitely, wow. like the startups here definitely seem very uh, modern and uh, very like tight-knit and they enable you to like I guess, work on all sorts of development skills. Uh, yeah, I'll take the MIT one. Okay. Alrighty, we're gonna do a, this is also a classic lead code question um, of involving bit manipulation, but it's also asked in MIT's uh, data structures and algorithms class. And 
The question is pretty simple. You know, if it's a power of two, right, um, right. you just return true. If it's not a power of two, you return false. Sure. Okay. So okay. first of all, do you have any questions about the input? And you have to do in the optimal solution. Yeah, the most optimal way. Most optimal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can, sure. You can, let's, yeah. let's give it a shot. So um, do you have any questions to the, related to the input, by the way? Yeah. So, so you said it could be a long or an int. So it's like it's some whole number. That's a, a, some positive whole number. That's a good question. It is a it is a positive number. Yeah. Okay. It and let's also assume for simplicity that it's not. I zero. mean, it can't be negative anyway. Yes. But it's yeah. not a fraction. It's not a it's fraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Such as two. You know. Uh, so let's say. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that yeah, is correct. Exactly. O of n, where n is a number of bits. Right. However, with this solution, you would not get the full credit at MIT. No, God! Please, no! 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 Could you optimize this to be big O of 1, right? The most efficient way. Most efficient. Right. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so let me give you a hint. What operations can you do in O of 1? Like, it has to be some bit manipulations, right? Yeah, yeah. Does so that you, make sense? Yeah, okay. so you can do like XOR or AND and... Yep, uh, exactly. And shifting left or right. So basically, now you gotta come up with an expression. Yeah. Um, that gives we can do in O one. Yeah. In O of one. Yeah. 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 So I'm trying to like see if there's like some way we could XOR the bit or something mm -hmm. that we can like extract that one and then like check. So. Good try. I mean, he made he made a real good effort. Uh, came up with a working solution and knew the kind of time complexity in detail. Um, however, it was not the most efficient. Again, MIT ke liye pure number nahi milenge. But anywho, congratulations. That's why I'm at Stanford, not MIT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And n minus one equals zero. Because when you do minus oh, one, it was just a one-liner solution. Yeah, congratulations. Nice Thank try. You. So it was it was tricky because you have to create the expression for. Yeah. But but what do you think? Do you do intensive read code in college? Or, um, or like in? To be in, honest, uh, not not a, not really. I've heard about read code. And I've done. I've tried a few questions, but um, I guess it's like more like I'm just like interested in like problem solving more and like puzzles. So yeah, but yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm not tried like too much Lee code, but we'll see. Maybe I need to start now. So. <laughs> <laughs> and what about startups? I have heard that Stanford students do a lot of startups, and it's a culture. It's a hype, yeah. right? So do you also plan to get into it? Um, yeah. I mean, if there's like a sufficient like problem that I see that actually needs work on or that needs to be solved then I think like startup would be a great option. And um, yeah, I think it's like important to like, you know, separate yourself from the hype and like make sure you're actually like, solving real problems. So um, if there is a real problem that I do see that I can solve in the future, then I would definitely hop on the train. So I actually know one person or two people who took one of their tree hacks projects and they went to Y Combinator and they're wow. now- Hackathon to Y Combinator, getting millions yeah. of dollars. Hackathon yeah. project to $1 million funding. Are you taught about startups in school? I mean, there's a lot of classes that are exclusively focused on startups, and the student culture is definitely driven by that. So I think a lot wow. of people are automatically are very interested. Brilliant. So we have two questions, one from MIT, from their data structures class, and other question, they're simple enough, and other question from an Indian college, an Indian university called okay. IIT. So which one you think is easier and we'll give you the one? MIT. MIT, sure, let's yeah. do it. I've heard of IIT. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so the question is given a number, let's say 101, it's addition of two numbers in string. So the TLDR is you're given two strings in binary and you're supposed to add them and they return the sum as in, binary. And as binary, but in string. Yeah, as a string. As a string. They are binary, but it's a binary addition. One, one and one. It's zero. zero. Yeah. Each, um, for each digit or like uh -huh. characters, right? I'm gonna get the um, number mm -hmm. of this. And so I just do like, for example, one minus like zero. Or I can, <laughs> or I can also say like, okay, if it's, one, then just convert it to one, right? Yes, integer. You can convert it yeah. to integer. Yes. Yeah, pretty much just convert. Carry, and then we'll set it to like zero at first. And so if it's two, then we set it to one. That is correct. Right? 
Um, and then we just have another string. Uh-huh. Where... Stir. Yeah, you got it right. Cool. Yes. Uh, so what's the time complexity of this? Like, the time big O. Time complexity can you just be... Um, the big O off. Big O of N. Or where, where N is N the is. length of the string. I wonder if it's like this plus this or just that. One iteration, you can go through both the strings. So would it be the big O of just the length of the larger string? Yeah, the length of the larger string. Would it yeah. be double that or just that? It would be just that. Okay, that yeah. makes but sense. Brilliant. Cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. All right. I declare bankruptcy! First of all, congratulations. And a uh, lot of students do startups at Stanford. Do you have friends who have like selected for Y Combinator? I have some friends doing startups, but I don't really know what they're up to too much, honestly. And do you do yeah. lead code regularly? How these kind of problems were taught in college? They, I think only in one class, 161, which was algorithms. <laughs> but I have recently been trying to find a job. And so I've been doing a lot of lead code. Lead code. Nice. Awesome, but congratulations for winning 100 dollars. Yeah! Yeah!